As is the case with all other viruses, the virus that causes the emerging corona, SARS-CoV-2, has random changes in its genetic code from time to time called mutations, which are errors in the transcription process, which usually occurs during replication. The virus has multiplied, as each copy error leads to the creation of a new type of virus. However, most of these errors are not important, as they do not change the composition of the virus or change it slightly to the point that it does not affect the severity of the disease or the extent of its spread. Fortunately, these errors occur less often with coronaviruses, less than they do with some other viruses such as the ones that cause influenza. Multiple Mutations However, there are many variants in the coronaviruses spread all over the world, with different variants being more common in different places, and a group of scientists called the Turkish Genetic Authority for COVID-19 in the United Kingdom has noticed COVID-19 Genomics UK, COG UK, Consortium, that the new form of the virus has become more common in London and the southeast of England, as it contains some mutations in the spiny protein of the coronavirus, which slightly changes its composition. It was quickly named VUI 2020012-01 and is defined by a set of 17 changes or mutations. One of the most important of these mutations is the N501Y mutation in the thorn protein that the virus uses to bind to the human ACE2 receptor, as changes may occur in this part of the thorn protein in theory. Sir Patrick Valance, Chief Scientific Advisor to the British Government, also explained that the new strain showed 23 different changes to the original COVID-19 virus, and many of them were specifically bound to proteins. He added, this is an unusually large number of variables, and it also contains variables in regions of the virus known to be related to how the virus attaches to cells and enters cells. So there are some worrying changes in terms of how the virus looks like. As for the question that now faces scientists directly, does the new strain fall into this last category? Do they represent increased health risks? Or did its rapid spread recently occur across southern England because it originated in people who infect many other people perhaps because they are ignoring the restrictions of COVID-19? Is the new strain more prevalent? The change in the spiny protein in the new strain is part of the protein that helps the virus reach cells in our bodies, which is what it needs to do to multiply and spread. A change in the new strain could make it easier to reach our cells, in which case it might be able to spread more easily, but there is no evidence for this yet. COG UK found that London and the southeast of England have witnessed increasing numbers of people infected with the new strain, and at the same time there are increasing numbers of people infected with coronavirus in the region in general. Screening tests have indicated that 43% of the virus in the southeast is now the new strain, 
in eastern England 59% and in London 62%. The number of injuries has increased very rapidly over the past few weeks, said Chief Medical Officer Professor Christ Whitty at a press conference in Downing Street. Is the new strain more dangerous? There is no indication that the new strain of virus is more dangerous than other coronaviruses. A more complete picture of whether the mutated virus is related to differences in symptoms, duration, or severity of the disease will appear when scientists collect additional data. Corona and they share the sequence immediately. Do vaccines work against the new strain? The other big problem is whether or not the new mutated virus will be able to bypass the protection provided by the COVID-19 vaccines now being administered throughout Britain. Vaccines have been tested with many types of circulating virus, Ewan Burney, Deputy Director General of the European Laboratory for Molecular Biology and Joint Director of the European Bioinformatics Institute in Cambridge, said, so there is every reason to believe that vaccines will still work against this new strain even though it is clear that it is it should be tested carefully. For his part, Sir Patrick Valance said that based on what is known now, the new strain does not seem to change the response of the vaccine in the way that made it less effective. He added that there are theoretical reasons indicating that it might alter the immune response, although there is no evidence for this. Is this something to be concerned about? It is too early to make any claims about the possible effects of the virus mutation, but if the virus spreads faster it will be difficult to control. However, different strains of COVID-19 have already appeared, which do not have any real effect, and it is possible that the matter is dangerous, but it is not known enough. We believe that there is a mechanism for the virus to start to escape, said Ravi Gupta, professor of clinical microbiology at the Cambridge Institute for Clinical Immunology and Infectious Diseases at the University of Cambridge, Britain. We need to crack down on him. We don't know what he will do in the long term but we cannot take the risk of that. It is unlikely to make people more sick, but it might make it difficult to control. What are scientists doing now? Scientists will grow the new strain in the laboratory to see how it responds by looking at whether it produces the same antibody response and how it interacts with the vaccine, and modeling the new strain, and it may take up to two weeks for this process to complete, as COG-UK performs a random sequence. Four positive samples across the UK to collect the sequence coverage report which is sent to each of the four public health agencies each week. Random sampling is important for the purpose of regional coverage. As is the case with all other viruses, the virus...